Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn algebra. Today is our lesson number 84. We are in the process of learning, lesson number 84, we are in the process of learning how to divide algebraic expressions. Let's see what we have for today. The problem that we have for today. Ninety one A cube times B to the fifth minus twenty one A squared B to the fourth minus seventy seven A squared B squared. We are asked to divide this expression, divide this expression by seven A squared B squared seven a squared b squared. So let's do it then. So here's the expression. It has three terms 91 a cubed b to the fifth minus 21 a squared b to the fourth 77 negative 77 a squared b squared. And we are asked to divide it by 7a squared b squared. So let's do it then. So 7a squared b squared, 7a squared b squared, this quantity needs to be distributed across this expression. 7a squared b squared over 7a squared b squared over 7 a squared b squared. That's all. Now we have to do our work. How many 7's in 91? How many 7's in 91? Well, there are a couple of ways you can figure it out. 91 divided by 7. There are, as I said, two ways to figure it out. There, I know that we know that there is one 7 in 9. The remaining 2 goes and joins this guy becomes 21 because that 2 is actually not 2, it's a 20. So that 2 goes and joins this guy becomes 21 and there are 3, 3, 7 in 21. So that's one way of doing it. Another way to figure it out is that we know that we know that uh, there are 10 7s in 70. There are 10 7s in 70. So if you were to take away 70 from 91, we are left with 21. And that represents three sevens. This is this is three seven, and this is ten sevens. So there are thirteen sevens. So there are thirteen sevens. Now we have a cubed divided by a squared. Let's do it then. A cubed divided by a squared. I don't like this marker that I just opened. a cube divided by a squared which is same as a times a times a over a squared a's are going to cancel out and we're left with just one a which is what we're going to show here so a cube divided by a squared a squared is going to cancel out and this cube is going to disappear it's just going to be a a to the first power Let's keep on going then Then we have b to the fifth, b to the fifth over b squared, which is b times b times b times b times b over b squared, which means all we know that we have to simply subtract these exponents. This is the same as b raised to 5 minus 2, which is b cubed, which is what we're going to see here. b cancels out, this b cancels out, and b cubed. b squared cancels out and it's just b cubed or we could have simply let me do it again separately this was a b to the fifth 
when you divide b to the fifth by b squared, the fifth power becomes the third power. So here is a raised to the first power and b raised to the third power. Let's keep on going. 21 divided by 7 is 3. a squared divided by a squared is just 1. It cancels out. b to the fourth, b to the fourth minus b squared is b to the second. We just subtract the exponents, 4 minus 2. Let's keep on going. 77, 77 divided by 7 is 11. a squared is going to cancel out with a squared, and b squared is going to cancel out with b squared. So that's it, that's our answer. The answer, final answer is, the final answer is, here we have 13, 13, a to the first power, b to the third power, minus 3, a, a squared cancelled out, and b squared, minus 11, and then here everything else is gone, this is it. This is our answer, 13a times b cubed, minus 3b squared, minus 11, that's all there was. I will see you tomorrow on day number 85, alright?